Hello everyone, uh, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So we have uh, square root of 9 minus square root of 8 and it's all square root. Uh, we write this into the uh, simplified form. So here uh, first uh, we focus on uh, its base so that its base is uh, square root of 9 minus square root of 8. And here you have 9, we rewrite this 9 as 3 squared and its whole square root minus uh, this is our square root of 8 and its whole square root. So here we use the nice exponential law. We know that if you have uh, a squared and its square root, so these two and square root are gone, then you obtain here a. Similarly, in this case, these three, this two and square root are cancelled by each other and we will obtain here only Three. So uh, we uh, write it as 3 minus this is 8 and we write this 8 as uh, uh, 4 times of 2. We know that 4 times of 2 becomes here 8. And now here uh, we uh, use another radical law and we know that if you have square root of a multiplied by b then we will write it as square root of a multiplied by square root of b so here uh, according to this law if you have the radical of two uh, product of two numbers then we write the square root sign separately on both of these numbers okay so uh, according to uh, this law here uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, separate this square root sign on both of these terms and it will be written as square root of 3 minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2. So uh, after this step uh, here uh, we again uh, rewrite this 4 as in this form square root of 3 minus uh, we write this 4 as 2 squared multiplied by square root of 2. So here uh, you see that this 2 and square root are gone and we obtain 3 minus 2 into square root of 2. So after this step uh, here uh, we need a more simplification and now we focus on uh, inside the square root uh, uh, value. So here you have 3 minus 2 into square root of 2. Uh, so uh, we break this 3 as 2 plus 1 we know that 2 plus 1 is 3 minus this is 2 into square root of 2 and its whole square root so here uh, we uh, we use another uh, we use another radical law so that according to this law here you can take a square and a radical at the same time of this term then it will be written as in this form square root of 2 squared and its whole square here you see that this 2 and this square root are cancelled by each other then you get here 2 only and this is plus 1 we write this 1 as 1 squared and this is minus 2 times of square root of 2 so we write this as 2 times of square root of 2 into 1. So now you see here uh, inside the square root sign here uh, we will make uh, a nice square identity and you very well know about this identity. Uh, if we have a minus b whole squared then it is equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times of a b okay so here we use this nice square identity to the above equation and in the above equation you see here we have the value of a is square root of 2 and the value of b is 1 similarly you have minus 2 times of this square root of 2 be equals to a and this is 1 is equals to b so it means that you have a squared plus b squared minus 2 times of a and b so this this will be the expansion of uh, 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 this square identity so that when we combine uh, all of these terms then 
the combination form of this term will be equals to a minus b whole squared so that uh, now we uh, combine the above equation so here you have the value of a is square root of 2 and minus the value of b is 1 and its whole square and its whole square root okay so now uh, you see here uh, when you expand square root of 2 minus 1 whole square then uh, you easily get uh, this value okay so it means that we write this value in this form and now here uh, you see that uh, we have uh, uh, this 2 and square root are cancelled by each other so that uh, we will obtain here uh, square root of 2 minus 1 so uh, this is the over simplified form of the given equation so uh, finally uh, we just say that the simplified form of square root of square root of 9 minus square root of 8 is equals to square root of 2 minus 1 so this is the our final answer of this question and uh, thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos